Hey guys, on this week's video, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to take you along with us on our family vacation. Uh, we went to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. So for about half of our trip, it poured down rain. I mean, like hurricane style rain, wind, just about 60 degrees. It was really uncomfortable. But we took that time, instead of playing on the beach, we took it to go visit Digger's Dungeon. And it was awesome. I mean, it was just a cool experience, and it was great for me, you know, as an adult. It was even better for Carly as a kid, and we surprised her with it. She had no clue that Gravedigger was even anywhere close to where we were, and, uh, you know, we just went for a drive, and we kept talking about how boring the drive was, and uh, we finally got there, and she was just thrilled. Stop, 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 stop. Here? Yes, right here. Just stop. I mean, there's the original grave digger. <laughs> the original. So we got out, we checked out the digger's dungeon, which is just basically a gift shop. Uh, but it does give you a glimpse into the shop, shop. And uh, that was pretty cool to see some of the trucks. Uh, obviously very cool to see the trucks outside uh, the one that's that really jumps out and gets you is all twisted up right out in front that's Gravedigger 7 my favorite out of all 30 something Gravediggers and uh, you know there's other historic Gravediggers all around the property So Dennis Anderson is the guy who's responsible for creating the Gravedigger monster truck. It was originally a mud truck and it kind of transformed over the years into car crushing and then racing and then he became known for his freestyles because he was just wild behind the wheel. Big wheelies, crashes, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, you know he kind of built this thing into a huge empire and uh, this Digger's Dungeon is a good way to get a glimpse of all of that. Uh, you know, you can't see all 30 something trucks or anything like that, but you can buy some cool merchandise. You can check out some of the historic trucks. And then there's other stuff right next door, like Digger's Diner, where we stopped. Obviously, we, we wanted to take all of this in uh, as part of our trip. We ate at Digger's Diner, and our waitress was Kristen Anderson, Dennis Anderson's daughter, who is a grave digger driver. I mean, that was awesome. That made Carly's day. It made my day too. So that was really cool. Then we went next door to that, to the monster truck rides, which I just assumed we were going to, you know, kind of putt around a little lot and that was going to be it. Well, that was not the case. It was actually raining and not ideal situation, but they were riding people anyways. So we hopped in this thing and took off and went on their little course and after we went over a couple of bumps they turned and went off into the woods which was amazing like it was an intense ride over bumps and you know this thing was kinda throwing you all over the place of course we were belted in but still it was an intense ride for just a ten dollar bill I mean we really had a good time with that and in the woods there was some old skeletons of gravedigger some old chassis and stuff that they had just scrapped and thrown out there so that was kind of fun to see that. And it was just, it was an exciting ride. Me and Carly both got a huge kick out of that. And if we go back, we're gonna do this again. And whether it's raining or not, this was a fun ride. Let's get going. Here we go.
So some of the historic trucks that are on the property, we've got the recreation of the very first Grave Digger, which was just an F1 pickup truck, had tractor tires on it. Uh, you know, it wasn't didn't have the spooky paint job or anything like that. It was just rattle can primer with John Deere yellow uh, lettering on the door and, you know, pretty basic mud truck for the time. Uh, this is a recreation. It's not the real thing because the real thing got transformed into the monster truck. So uh, also on hand is Grave Digger number one, which they call Grandma, which I'm not sure where that name came from aside from it just being old and crusty. But uh, this was the first truck to get the spooky paint job. It actually first was blue and silver, and that didn't really fit the name. So Dennis had the spooky paint job done, and that was it. This, you know, that really nailed down the creepy grave digger vibe. So um, it was a Ford body, but it did have a Chevrolet motor in the back. And this thing was pretty wild. I mean, it was known for wheelies and wild rides and stuff, uh, even when monster trucks weren't really fast. So, uh, you know, he kind of took that and one-upped his game with Grave Digger number two, which was a Chevrolet body, 50 model Chevrolet. Still had the panel truck, still had the creepy paint job and all that kind of stuff, uh, but he really made this thing more of a racing truck. So that truck ran for a couple years in the TNT circuit, and then he rebuilt it again to what you see now, which was a special built truck that went across water. It was specially built with just a stock motor and stuff to where it would float, and he actually broke a world record with it. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then, you know, you see some other things inside Digger's Dungeon that are historic. The back doors off of Grave Digger number one, they're in there, still painted and still really cool looking. Uh, we got a body panel off of what I'm assuming is probably Grave Digger number three. It's fiberglass. Um, it's got the old paint job, and I, I'm not really sure exactly, but I'm assuming Grave Digger 3. Uh, then in Digger's Diner, we actually ate lunch underneath the Grave Digger 7 nose, which is all busted up. So all this was just a cool experience to be able to go there, see the historic stuff, which matters to me, and see the new stuff, which matters to Carly. So we both had a really good time, and uh, you know, I'd really like to go back and dig a little deeper and be able to go back into the shops and, you know, actually meet these guys and talk to them some. So, you know, maybe next year's vacation I'll, I'll branch out and dig a little deeper and see if I can get a full episode of the whole shop tour. For now, I just wanted to show you a glimpse of our vacation and how we turned a rainy day into an extremely fun, unforgettable day at Digger's Dungeon. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I've got videos every Friday, uh, you know, got project updates, Hot Rod Hoarders episodes, and even random stuff like this. So I appreciate you watching, and tune in next week for more.